So let's download apps on your LG TV. Okay, so we're gonna press the home button on your LG remote and now scroll down and you know, use the arrow keys to navigate through your apps, this app section right here and go all the way to the right until you highlight this option that says apps and press the OK button to open it. Think of this as the app store for your TV, just like the one on your smartphone. You know, from there, you can browse through all the available applications like Netflix, Prime Video or Hulu. And using the arrow keys, you can move around and see what's popular. However, if you're looking for a specific app, scroll all the way to the top of the screen. You know, select the magnifying glass icon. You know, this will bring up an you know, on-screen keyboard. Using the arrow keys on your remote, you can navigate and uh, move through all the letters and I'll press the OK button to select each one. And for this example, I'm going to look for Crunchyroll, which is super popular. So let me type that in really quick. Once we have typed in the name, we're gonna navigate to the search button on the keyboard on the right side and I'll press OK. And now you should see the app you searched for. And now we just select it using the arrows. We move and, and select it with the OK button and then we select install and right there a pop-up will appear letting you know that you need to sign in into your LG account to download apps and uh, this is a one-time setup so let's go ahead and select yes now you'll see a few ways to sign in in my opinion the easiest and fastest method is mobile web sign in which lets you complete the process on your smartphone Select that and um, a QR code will appear on your TV screen. So grab your phone and open its camera app and point the camera at the QR code. Now a link should pop up on your phone screen. Now just tap that link to open the sign in page in your web browser like Google Chrome or Safari. And now you're going to enter this code that you see on your LG TV screen into your phone. And now you'll have different options to create an account. I'm going to use my Google account right now. So I'll tap login with Google. If you have an iPhone, you can also choose login with Apple. And now we just follow the prompts on your phone. And now agree to the terms and conditions. And finally create a password and you know, enter your date of birth. To complete the setup it doesn't have to be your real date of birth you can make that up it doesn't really matter once you have finished on your phone look back at your tv it will show a confirmation that you've successfully signed in you know it will then ask you to create a nickname for your tv you can enter anything you like and press enter and that's it the app will now begin to download and uh, install automatically so now let me show you how to find your new app. We're gonna press the home button again and using the down arrow key, we're going to go to the app section right here. And we're going to scroll all the way to the right. And uh, you're going to see that the new application is all the way to the right. So here's a quick way to organize your apps. We're going to navigate to the end of the app section and um, select the pencil icon this one right here this is the option to organize your apps the way you want it so let's simply select the app you want to move using the ok button and now you can move it anywhere you want and now if you like it at the beginning then move it all the way to the left and then press ok to place it right there and this is a great way to keep your favorite apps right at the front. And basically that's how you download and organize any application on your LG Smart TV. If you have any questions, please leave me a comment down below and uh, I'll be happy to help you out. If this video was helpful, please consider subscribing. That means a lot to me and thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye now and take care.